morning! Hello and welcome to our daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm here in wet South Yorkshire. Thank you very much for clicking on our channel and choosing to watch this video. Um, we are hopefully today going to be muck spreading if it's not too wet. We should be using the class, um, which will be fun. That's a new machine that's in the yard for us to try for a little bit of time. So, um, yeah, let's see what it's all about. So, first things first, we're going to drop uh, the fertilizer spreader off. So Andy needs that for his strawing up this morning. So, we dropped that off and um, we'll get this mix up there, get a mix started. Andy's wax on, wax off. You got mucky windows, Andy? Hey. Mucky windows? Oh no! Me too with mucky windows, but this does get mucky. It's a case of do I jump on the 9 meter now to do the mix, or do I try out the new class? But it means it's not got the same headstock and it's a bit of a faffy fiddly bit business of taking the pins out. Ah, it should be alright. So we're in it, it's got decent visibility, can't complain about that. Andy's just getting straw blown into the pens, but I need to come and get some off him. I need to get, what's this Andy, what have you been doing with that? <laughs> it's my tripod. So I'm taking this around the back. I thought we might as well try and um, a load of straw. It's seven meter this machine, so I'm hoping it will reach. But I think we've got enough straw at the lower levels to be able to, to get a trailer full anyway. So we should be all right, fingers crossed. So we'll see how this goes. Take these bales from here first, I think. So just being a bit tentative, new machine, don't want anything ridiculous to happen. Right, we'll grab in the bales now, lift them up, reverse, joystick's in a bit of a different way to normal, so let's get used to that. I'll fetch it in, it feels very stable. We'll, um, we'll pop it on a time lapse, we'll see how I get on. So there we have it, it's pretty simple to drive, very similar to the Kramer, um, which class used the Kramer previous. Same joystick, um, forward and reverse is on there, your third service is on the back, um, so it's all a little bit different from what we're used to with the JCB. Um, and also the, it's hydrostatic, so you have to press the accelerator, like a Merlot, like the Kramer, um, I'm guessing like the JCB Agri Pro models um, and that takes a little bit of getting used to you don't really use the brake so if I let off the accelerator now it sort of brings it to a stop and it does hold it so it's like sort of seems to be braked anyway let's there's a bit of an incline here I'd expect to roll back down oh it is rolling no no it's not it's held it It is beeping out a little bit on these um, these bales that are at the bottom, but we have got that extension with the cone there, so it'd be throwing the weight forward a lot more. It makes a uh, makes a, a big difference when you put the weight further forward. 
So I'm just putting the bottom bales, so they are slightly heavier because they've got like a little wet bit on the bottom, at the back of the trailer. So um, it could technically make it a little bit easier for it to lift the trailer because most of the weight, the heavier bales are at this end of the axle. So we'll see in a minute if she picks it up. We'll get pulled up somewhere near and then uh, I'll show you what's happening with unlocking it. That we should see a silver bar moving in the mirror. Uh, no, we don't. I need to do. I need to lift it to the top, and then we'll try again. And I press the button down. You see that silver bar moving. So we need to hold it on, and then we will release the pin for going down. Like that. Then we're back onto the trail, and we'll have a go at picking it up. Let's give it a shot. See if she'll do it. It's not locking, is it? That's the same, it's the same as Kramer. It's got that like hook that bends. Or, I don't know, rotates or whatever. Um, it's just not got the power just to pull it up into the lock position. Now, whether class can do similar to what Kramer said and change that to a fixed hook so that it does it, I don't know, but at the minute it's not doing it. It lifts it up with such power as well. It's just. I think it's just the final bit of mechanism that's uh, that's stopping the job. It's not a big deal for us that he doesn't lift that. Um, it's not a deal breaker because it's handy for doing this job when we're fetching it round, but it's a small part of what it does. I mean, most of the time, um, this type of telehandler in our yard is stacking bales. It's never carting bales. Can't, can't remember the last time the nine meter carted any bales, apart from around the yard here. And into the uh, into the cattle section. So it's a bit of a traffic jam here. Andy's picking bales up. My dad's going down with the feed, and I'm going to just drop him a few more off while I'm coming back around. Dad's feeding now. So the plan is this morning we're going to strip the spreader bale down. So she's been wearing at the bottom. I don't know if it's the grub screws or what it is, but we're gonna take the top off, get the motors out and um, yeah, have a look, see what the job is. So we're getting these off. Oh, I need a big bar on this, I think, Andy. Bar Andy. <laughs> the big bar sorts it though, doesn't it? Blowing the top off now. We got this lifted up at the top and then we managed to get the rotor out without actually taking the top off, which is good. And if you see, this one here has got a bear in there. This one has not, it's dropped off by the looks of it. A bear in case it's cracked as well. As comes this bell, break the bell. I've got the top off now. Well, I've got all the top off now. Both the rotors are over there, and these um, bearings have cracked, basically. So I rang up Spreader Bale, got on the phone to Michael, who actually designed um, the Spreader Bale, and he's gonna get some bearings sent out to us tomorrow, in tomorrow's post. So he should be with us tomorrow. He says it's gonna cost a fortune for postage, but let's get him here, and then we're uh, ready to do, uh, ready to get it fixed and back on its way. 2012 that is, and that's the first time the bearings have gone. And it's not been it's not been looked after as much as it should, and it's done a lot of bales. So um, yeah, nothing really to go wrong on that machine, is it? And they broke and then it's dropped down. So we'll just have the jobber putting it back together. Alright, we're getting the job set up now for muck spreading. I'm gonna take the bucket, but I'm also gonna take that massive grab that they've sent with this machine. And um, we can see how we get on with uh, with both. 
take the huge grain bucket, which you'll see in a second, but I think it will just be too big for this job. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it might have been fun to use it, but yeah, I'd, we'd only have to wash it, so let's just stick with our muck bucket. Look at the size difference. That green one is a beast. The oh, nice thing with this class has got the pressure release, which a lot of the uh, newer machines have now. So we drop the pressure out of the couplings at the front there. And there's also a handy one tucked away. Like that button's never going to get damaged there, is it? Just there. So then we'll take them off and we'll put this grab on. They're not on these flat face couplers, so it's the first time I've used them. Hey, they're easy, them, aren't they? Hey? Our couplings are like that. Oh, the, and they're the males on the headstock, the females on the, the attachments. I'd like to change to a flat face, but it's just going to, um, yeah, just every little attachment that we've got having to change it. It's just time, effort, cost. We're always just stuck with the same. So I've just lifted the big beastie grab. And then what we'll do is we will pick our bucket up. Grab it and then I'll have got both at the field if I get sick of using the grab. Looking to me like it's an oil leak actually. Tighten that up. Got them all lined up before dinner, ready to go. Over on the hill there, spread some milk. So I think guys, this video is getting quite long now, so we might just leave it um, here and start afresh when we get up to the field, doing a bit of muck spreading with the Class Scorpion 741 just read that now didn't even know what number it was and obviously the 6215 will be action in action the 6210 andy will be on it he's found his gloves now um and yeah we'll get another video together i think um rather than making it a really really epically long one so thanks for watching this one and hopefully you join us for the next if if you do yeah part two um if you um if if you liked it press like and subscribe business thanks guys bye